Fauna of Australia From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, http colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org The fauna of Australia consists of a huge variety of unique animals, some 83% of mammals, 89% of reptiles, 90% of fish and insects, and 93% of amphibians that inhabit the continent are endemic to Australia. This high level of endemism can be attributed to the continent's long geographic isolation, tectonic stability, and the effects of an unusual pattern of climate change on the soil and flora over geological time. A unique feature of Australia's fauna is the relative scarcity of native placental mammals. Consequently, the marsupials, a group of mammals that raise their young in a pouch, including the macropods, possums and desuromorphs, occupy many of the ecological niches that elsewhere in the world are filled by placental mammals. Australia is home to two of the five known extant species of monotremes and has numerous venomous species, which include the platypus, spiders, scorpions, octopus, jellyfish, mollusks, stonefish and stingrays. Uniquely, Australia has more venomous than non-venomous species of snakes. The settlement of Australia by Indigenous Australians more than 40,000 years ago, and by Europeans from 1788, has had a significant impact on the fauna. Hunting, the introduction of non-native species, and land management practices involving the modification or destruction of habitats have led to numerous extinctions. Some examples include the Paradise Parrot, pig-footed bandicoot, and the broad-faced potteroo. Unsustainable land use continues to threaten the survival of many species. In recognition of the threats to the survival of its fauna, Australia has passed wide-ranging federal and state legislation and established numerous protected areas. However, many people believe that these measures fail to address the imminent threats to the survival of many species. Section 1 Origins of Australian Fauna See the main article, Natural History of Australia. Both geologic and climatic events helped to make Australia's fauna unique. Australia was once part of the southern supercontinent Gondwana, which also included South America, Africa, India and Antarctica. Gondwana began to break up 140 million years ago. 50 million years ago, Australia separated from Antarctica, and was relatively isolated until the collision of the Indo-Australian plate with Asia in the Miocene era 5.3 million years ago. The establishment and evolution of the present-day fauna was apparently shaped by the unique climate and the geology of the continent. As Australia drifted, it was, to some extent, isolated from the effects of global climate change. The unique fauna that originated in Gondwana, such as the marsupials, survived and adapted in Australia. After the Miocene, fauna of Asian origin were able to establish themselves in Australia. The Wallace Line, the hypothetical line separating the zoogeographical regions of Asia and Australasia, marks the tectonic boundary between the Eurasian and Indo-Australian plates. This continental boundary prevented the formation of land bridges and resulted in a distinct zoological distribution, with limited overlap, of most Asian and Australian fauna, with the exception of birds. Following the emergence of the circumpolar current in the mid Oligocene era, some 15 million years ago, the Australian climate became increasingly arid, giving rise to a diverse group of arid specialised organisms, just as the wet tropical and seasonally wet areas gave rise to their own uniquely adapted species. Section 2 Mammals Australia has a rich mammalian fossil history, as well as a variety of extant mammalian species dominated by the marsupials. The fossil record shows that monotremes have been present in Australia since the early Cretaceous, 145 to 99 million years ago, and that marsupials and placental mammals date from the Eocene, 56 to 34 million years ago, when modern mammals first appeared in the fossil record. Although marsupials and placental mammals did coexist in Australia in the Eocene, only marsupials have survived to the present. The placental mammals made their reappearance in Australia in the Miocene, when Australia moved closer to Indonesia, and bats and rodents started to appear reliably in the fossil record. 
the marsupials evolved to fill specific ecological niches, and in many cases they are physically similar to the placental mammals in Eurasia and North America that occupy similar niches, a phenomenon known as convergent evolution. For example, the top predator in Australia, the Tasmanian tiger, bore a striking resemblance to canids such as the grey wolf. Gliding possums and flying squirrels have similar adaptations enabling their arboreal lifestyle, and the numbat and anteaters are both digging insectivores. Monotremes and Marsupials Monotremes are mammals with a unique method of reproduction. They lay eggs instead of giving birth to live young. Two of the five known living species of monotreme occur in Australia, the platypus and the short-beaked echidna. The platypus, a venomous, egg-laying, duck-billed amphibious mammal, is one of the strangest creatures in the animal kingdom. When a platypus pelt was first presented by Joseph Banks to English naturalists in the late 1700s, they were convinced it must be a cleverly created hoax. Another strange monotreme is the short-beaked echidna. Covered in hairy spikes, with a tubular snout in the place of a mouth, it has a tongue that can move in and out of the snout about 100 times a minute to capture termites. Australia is also home to the world's largest and most diverse selection of marsupials, mammals with a pouch in which they rear their young. The marsupial carnivores, order Dasuromorphia, are represented by two surviving families, the Dasuridae with 51 members, and the Myrmecobiidae with the numbat as its sole surviving member. The Tasmanian tiger was the largest Dasuromorphia and the last living specimen of the family Thylacinidae. However, the last known specimen died in captivity in 1936. The world's largest surviving carnivorous marsupial is the Tasmanian devil. It is the size of a small dog and can hunt, although it is mainly a scavenger. It became extinct on the mainland some 600 years ago and is now found only in Tasmania. There are four species of quoll, or native cat, all of which are threatened species. The remainder of the Dasuridae are referred to as marsupial mice. Most weigh less than 100 grams. There are two species of marsupial mole, order Notorectomorphia, that inhabit the deserts of Western Australia. These rare, blind, earless carnivores spend most of their time underground. Little is known about them. The marsupial omnivores include the bandicoots and bilbies, order Paramelomorphia. There are seven species in Australia, most of which are endangered. These small creatures share several characteristic physical features. A plump, arch-backed body with a long, delicately tapered snout, large upright ears, long thin legs and a thin tail. The evolutionary origin of this group is unclear, but they share characteristics from both carnivorous and herbivorous marsupials. The marsupial herbivores are classified in the order Diprotodontia, and further into the suborders Vombatiformes, Phalangeriformes, and Macropodiformes. The Vombatiformes include the koala and the three species of wombat. One of Australia's best-known marsupials, the koala is an arboreal or tree-dwelling species that feeds on the leaves of some 120 species of eucalyptus. Wombats, on the other hand, live on the ground and feed on grasses, sedges and roots. Wombats use their rodent-like front teeth and powerful claws to dig extensive burrow systems. They are mainly crepuscular and nocturnal. The phalangeriforms includes possums and is a diverse group of arboreal marsupials, including six families and 26 species. They vary in size from the little pygmy possum, weighing just 7 grams, to the cat-sized common ringtail and brush-tail possums. The sugar and squirrel gliders are common species of gliding possum, found in the eucalyptus forests of eastern Australia, while the feather-tail glider is the smallest glider species. The gliding possums have membranes, called patagiums, that extend from the fifth finger of their forelimb back to the first toe of their hind foot. These membranes, when outstretched, allow them to glide between trees. The macropodiforms are divided into three families that are found in all Australian environments except alpine areas, the Hypsoprimnodontidae, with the musky rat kangaroo as its only member, the Potoroidae, with ten species, and the Macropodidae, which has 53 members in Australia, but some species are extinct. The Potoroidae include the betongs, 
potaroos and rat kangaroos, small species that make nests and carry plant material with their tails. The Macropodidae include kangaroos, wallabies and associated species. Size varies widely within this family. Most macropods move in a bipedal, energy-efficient hopping motion. They have powerfully muscled tails and large hind legs with long, narrow hind feet. The hind feet have a distinctive arrangement of four toes, while the short front legs have five separate digits. The musky rat kangaroo is the smallest macropod and the only species that is not bipedal, while the male red kangaroo is the largest, reaching a height of about 2 metres and weighing up to 85 kilograms. Placental Mammals Australia has indigenous placental mammals from two orders, the bats, order Coroptera, represented by six families, and the mice and rats, order Rodentia, family Muridae. Bats and rodents are relatively recent arrivals to Australia. Bats probably arrived from Asia, and they are present in the fossil record only from as recently as 15 million years ago. Although 7% of the world's bat species live in Australia, there are only two endemic genera of bats. Rodents first arrived in Australia 5 to 10 million years ago and underwent a wide radiation to produce the species collectively known as the old endemic rodents. The old endemics are represented by 14 extant genera. About a million years ago, the rat entered Australia from New Guinea and evolved into seven species of ratus, collectively called the new endemics. Since human settlement, many placental mammals have been introduced to Australia and are now feral. The first was the dingo. Fossil evidence suggests that people from the north brought the dingo to Australia about 5,000 years ago. When Europeans settled Australia, they intentionally released many species into the wild, including the red fox, brown hare and the European rabbit. Other domestic species have escaped and over time have produced wild populations, including the cat, fallow deer, red deer, samba deer, rusa deer, kaitel, hog deer, domestic horse, donkey, pig, domestic goat, water buffalo, black buck and the dromedary. Only three species of Australia's non-indigenous placental mammals were not deliberately introduced, the house mouse, black rat and the brown rat. 46 marine mammals from the order Cetacea are found in Australian coastal waters, but since many of these species have a global distribution, some authors do not consider them Australian species. There are nine species of baleen whale, including the enormous humpback whale. There are 37 species of toothed whale, which include all six genera of the family Zephyridae, beaked whales, and 21 species of oceanic dolphin, including the Australian snubfin dolphin, a species first described in 2005. Some oceanic dolphins, such as the orca, can be found in all waters around the continent. Others, such as the Irrawaddy dolphin, are confined to the warm northern waters. The dugong, order Serenia, is an endangered marine species that inhabits the waters of northeastern and northwestern Australia, particularly the Torres Strait. It can grow up to three metres long and weigh as much as 400 kilograms. The dugong is the only herbivorous marine mammal in Australia, feeding on seagrass in coastal areas. The destruction of seagrass beds is a threat to the survival of this species. Ten species of seals and sea lions, superfamily Pinopedia, live off the southern Australian coast and in sub-Antarctic Australian territories. Section 3. Birds See the main article, Birds of Australia. Australia and its territories are home to over 800 species of bird. About 350 of these are endemic to the zoogeographic region that covers Australia, New Guinea and New Zealand. The fossil record of birds in Australia is patchy. However, there are records of the ancestors of contemporary species as early as the late Oligocene. Birds with a Gondwanan history include the flightless ratites, the emu and southern cassowary, megapodes, the mallee-fowl and Australian brush turkey, and a huge group of endemic parrots, order cetaciforms. Australian parrots comprise a sixth of the world's parrots, including many cockatoos and galahs. The kookaburra is the largest species of the kingfisher family, known for its call, 
which sounds uncannily like loud echoing human laughter. The passerines of Australia, also known as songbirds or perching birds, include wrens, robins, the magpie group, thornbills, pardalotes, the huge honey-eater family, tree creepers, lyre birds, birds of paradise and bower birds. The satin bower bird is a fascinating bird that has attracted the interest of evolutionary psychologists. It has a complex courtship ritual in which the male creates a bower filled with blue shiny items to woo mates. Relatively recent colonists from Eurasia are swallows, larks, thrushes, cysticulars, sunbirds and some raptors, including the large wedge-tailed eagle. A number of bird species have been introduced by humans. Some, like the European goldfinch and greenfinch, coexist happily with Australian species, while others, such as the common starling, European blackbird, house sparrow and Indian miner, are destructive of some native bird species and thus destabilise the native ecosystem. About 200 species of seabird live on the Australian coast, including many species of migratory seabird. Australia is at the southern end of the East Asian Australasian flyway for migratory waterbirds, which extends from Far East Russia and Alaska through Southeast Asia to Australia and New Zealand. About two million birds travel this route to and from Australia each year. One very common large seabird is the Australian pelican, which can be found in most waterways in Australia. The little penguin is the only species of penguin that breeds on mainland Australia. Section 4. Amphibians and Reptiles See the main articles, Amphibians of Australia and Reptiles of Australia. Australia has four families of native frogs and one introduced toad, the cane toad. In 1935, the cane toad was introduced to Australia in a failed attempt to control pests in sugarcane crops. It has since become a devastating pest, spreading across northern Australia. As well as competing with native insectivores for food, the cane toad produces a venom that is toxic to native fauna as well as to humans. The Myobatrachidae, or southern frogs, are Australia's largest group of frogs, with 120 species from 21 genera. A notable member of this group is the colourful and endangered corroboree frog. The tree frogs, from family Hylidae, are common in high rainfall areas on the north and east coasts. There are 77 Australian species from three genera. The 18 species from two genera of the microhylidae frogs are restricted to the rainforests. The smallest species, the scanty frog, is from this family. There is a single species from the world's dominant frog group, family Ranidae, the Australian wood frog, which only occurs in the Queensland rainforests. As elsewhere, there has been a precipitous decline in Australia's frog populations in recent years. Although the full reasons for the decline are uncertain, it can be at least partly attributed to the fatal amphibian fungal disease, Chytridiomycosis. Australia has both saltwater and freshwater crocodiles. The saltwater crocodile, known colloquially as the salty, is the largest living crocodile species. Reaching up to 7 metres and weighing up to 1,000 kilograms, they can and do kill humans. They live on the coast and in the freshwater rivers and wetlands of northern Australia, and they are farmed for their meat and leather. Freshwater crocodiles, found only in northern Australia, are not considered dangerous to humans. The Australian coast is visited by six species of sea turtle, the flatback, green sea, hawksbill, olive ridley, loggerhead and the leatherback sea turtles. All are protected in Australian waters. There are 29 species of Australian freshwater turtles from eight genera of family Killidae. The Australasian pignose turtle is the only Australian member of that family. Australia and Antarctica are the only continents without any living species of land tortoise. Australia is the only continent where venomous snakes outnumber their non-venomous cousins. Australian snakes belong to seven families. Of these, the most venomous species, including the fierce snake, eastern brown snake, taipan and eastern tiger snake, are from the family Elapidae. Of the 200 species of Elapid, 86 are found only in Australia. 33 sea snakes from family Hydrophyidae inhabit Australia's northern waters. Many are extremely venomous. 
Two species of sea snake from the Acrocordidae also occur in Australian waters. Australia has only 11 species from the world's most significant snake family, Calabridae. None are endemic, and they are considered to be relatively recent arrivals from Asia. There are 15 species of boa, and 31 species of insectivorous blind snake. There are more lizards in Australia than anywhere else in the world, with representatives of five families. There are 114 species in 18 genera of gecko found throughout the Australian continent. The Pygopodidae is a family of limbless lizards endemic to the Australian region. Of the 34 species from 8 genera, only one species does not occur in Australia. The Agamidae, or dragon lizards, are represented by 66 species in 13 genera, including the thorny devil, bearded dragon, and frill-necked lizard. There are 26 species of monitor lizard, family Varanidae, in Australia, where they are commonly known as goannas. The largest Australian monitor is the Parenti, which can reach up to 2 metres in length. There are 389 species of skink from 38 genera, comprising about 50% of the total Australian lizard fauna. This group includes the blue-tongued lizards. Section 5. Fish. See the main article, Fish in Australia. More than 4,400 species of fish inhabit Australia's waterways. Of these, 90% are endemic. However, due to the relative scarcity of freshwater waterways, Australia has only 170 species of freshwater fish. Two families of freshwater fish have ancient origins, the arowana, or bony tongues, and the Queensland lungfish. The Queensland lungfish is the most primitive of the lungfish, having evolved before Australia separated from Gondwana. One of the smallest freshwater fish, peculiar to the southwest of Western Australia, is the salamander fish, which can survive desiccation in the dry season by burrowing into mud. Other families with a potentially Gondwanan origin include the Retropinidae, Galaxiidae, Aplocytonidae, and Perchicothiidae. Apart from the ancient freshwater species, 70% of Australia's freshwater fish have affinities with tropical Indo-Pacific marine species that have adapted to fresh water. Nevertheless, fossil evidence indicates that many of these freshwater species are still ancient in origin. These species include freshwater lampreys, herrings, catfish, rainbow fish, and some 50 species of gudgeon, including the sleepy cod. Native freshwater game fish include the barramundi, murray cod and golden perch. Two species of endangered freshwater shark are found in the Northern Territory. A number of exotic freshwater fish species, including brown, brook and rainbow trout, Atlantic and Chinook salmon, redfin perch, carp and mosquito fish, have been introduced to Australian waterways. The mosquito fish is a particularly aggressive species known for harassing and nipping the fins of other fish. It has been linked to declines and localised extinctions of a number of small native fish species. The introduced trout species have had serious negative impacts on a number of upland native fish species, including trout cod, Macquarie perch and Galaxias species, as well as other upland fauna such as the spotted tree frog. The carp is strongly implicated in the dramatic loss in waterweed, decline of small native fish species and permanently elevated levels of turbidity in the Murray-Darling Basin of southwest Australia. Most of Australia's fish species are marine. Groups of interest include the moray eels and squirrel fish, as well as the pipefish and seahorses, whose males incubate their partner's eggs in a specialised pouch. There are 80 species of grouper in Australian waters, including one of the world's biggest bony fish, the giant grouper, which can grow as large as 2.7 metres and weigh up to 400 kilograms. The trevally, a group of 50 species of silver schooling fish, and the snappers are popular species for commercial fishing. The Great Barrier Reef supports a huge variety of small and medium-sized reef fish, including the damselfish, butterflyfish, angelfish, gobies, cardinal fish, wrasse, triggerfish and surgeon fish. There are a number of venomous fish, among them several species of stonefish and pufferfish and the red lionfish, all of which have toxins that can kill humans. 
There are 11 venomous species of stingray, the largest of which is the smooth stingray. The barracudas are one of the reef's largest species. However, large reef fish should not be eaten for fear of ciguatera poisoning. Sharks inhabit all the coastal waters and estuarine habitats of Australia's coast. There are 166 species, including 30 species of requiem shark, 32 of cat shark, 6 of wobbegong shark, and 40 of dogfish shark. There are three species from the family Heterodontidae, the Port Jackson shark, the zebra horn shark, and the crested horn shark. In 2004, there were 12 unprovoked shark attacks in Australia, of which two were fatal. Only three species of shark pose a significant threat to humans, the bull shark, the tiger shark, and the great white shark. Some popular beaches in Queensland and New South Wales are protected by shark netting, a method that has reduced the population of both dangerous and harmless shark species through accidental entanglement. The overfishing of sharks has also significantly reduced shark numbers in Australian waters, and several species are now endangered. A megamouth shark was found on a Perth beach in 1988. Very little is known about this species, but this discovery may indicate the presence of the species in Australian coastal waters. Section 6. Invertebrates Of the estimated 200,000 animal species in Australia, about 96% are invertebrates. While the full extent of invertebrate diversity is uncertain, 90% of insects and mollusks are considered endemic. Invertebrates occupy many ecological niches and are important in all ecosystems as decomposers, pollinators and food sources. The largest group of invertebrates is the insects, comprising 75% of Australia's known species of animals. The most diverse insect orders are the Coleoptera, with 28,200 species of beetles and weevils, the Lepidoptera, with 20,816 species, including butterflies and moths, and 12,781 species of Hymenoptera, including ants, bees and wasps. Order Diptera, which includes the flies and mosquitoes, comprises 7,786 species. Order Hemiptera, including bugs, aphids and hoppers, comprises 5,650 species, and there are 2,827 species of order Orthoptera, including grasshoppers, crickets and katydids. Introduced species that pose a significant threat to native species include the European wasp, the red fire ant, the yellow crazy ant, and feral honey bees, which compete with native bees. Australia has a wide variety of arachnids, including 135 species of spider that are familiar enough to have common names. There are a number of highly venomous species, including the notorious Sydney funnelweb and redback spiders, whose bites can be deadly. There are thousands of species of mites and ticks from Morda acarina. Australia also has eight species of pseudoscorpion and nine scorpion species. In the subclass Oligochyta, there are many families of aquatic worms, but only two families of native terrestrial worms, the Anchitraeidae and the Megascalacidae. The latter includes the world's largest earthworm, the giant Gippsland earthworm, found only in Gippsland, Victoria. On average, they reach 80 centimetres in length, but specimens up to 3.7 metres in length have been found. The large family Parastacidae includes 124 species of Australian freshwater crayfish. These include the world's smallest crayfish, the swamp crayfish, which does not exceed 30 millimetres in length, and the world's largest crayfish, the Tasmanian giant freshwater crayfish, measuring up to 76 centimetres long and weighing 4.5 kilograms. The crayfish genus Kerax includes the common yabby, in addition to the farm species Marin and Queensland red claw. Species from the genus Engaeus, commonly known as the land crayfish, are also found in Australia. Engaeus species are not entirely aquatic because they spend most of their lives living in burrows. Australia has seven species of freshwater crab from the genus Ostrothelphosa. These crabs live burrowed into the banks of waterways and can plug their burrows, surviving through several years of drought. The extremely primitive freshwater mountain shrimp, found only in Tasmania, are a unique group, resembling species found in the fossil record from 200 million years ago. 
A huge variety of marine invertebrates are found in Australian waters, with the Great Barrier Reef an important source of this diversity. Families include the periphera, or sea sponges, the nadaria, includes the jellyfish, corals and sea anemones, comb jellies, the echinodermata, includes the sea urchins, starfish, brittle stars, sea cucumbers, the lamp shells, and the mollusca, includes snails, slugs, limpets, squid, octopus, cockles, oysters, clams and chitons. Venomous invertebrates include the box jellyfish, the blue-ringed octopus, and ten species of cone snail, which can cause respiratory failure and death in humans. The crown of thorns starfish usually inhabits the reef at low densities. However, under conditions that are not yet well understood, they can reproduce to reach an unsustainable population density when coral is devoured at a rate faster than it can regenerate. This presents a serious reef management issue. Other problematic marine invertebrates include the native species, purple sea urchin and the white urchin, which have been able to take over marine habitats and form urchin barrens due to the over-harvesting of their natural predators, which include abalone and rock lobster. Introduced invertebrate pests include the Asian mussel, New Zealand green-lipped mussel, black-striped mussel and the northern Pacific sea star, all of which displace native shellfish. There are many unique marine crustaceans in Australian waters. The best-known class, to which all the edible species of crustacean belong, is Malacostrica. The warm waters of northern Australia are home to many species of decapod crustaceans, including crabs, false crabs, hermit crabs, lobsters, shrimps and prawns. The pericarids, including the amphipods and isopods, are more diverse in the colder waters of southern Australia. Less well-known marine groups include the classes Rimipedia, Cephalocarida, Branchiopoda, Maxillopoda, which includes the barnacles, copepods and fish lice, and the Ostracoda. Notable species include the Tasmanian giant crab, the second largest crab species in the world, found in deep water and weighing up to 13 kilograms, and the Australian spiny lobsters, such as the western rock lobster, which are distinct from other lobster species as they do not have claws. Section 7. Human Impact and Conservation See the main article, Conservation in Australia. For at least 40,000 years, Australia's fauna played an integral role in the traditional lifestyles of Indigenous Australians, who exploited many species as a source of food and skins, and for sport and pest control. Vertebrates commonly harvested included macropods, possums, seals, fish, and the short-tailed shearwater, most commonly known as the mutton bird. Invertebrates used as food included insects like the bogong moth and larvae, collectively called witchetty grubs, and mollusks. The use of fire-stick farming, in which large swathes of bushland were burnt to facilitate hunting, modified both flora and fauna, including large herbivores with a specialised diet, such as the flightless birds from the genus Genionis. The role of hunting and landscape modification by Aboriginal people in the extinction of the Australian megafauna is debated. The impact of Aborigines on native species populations is widely considered to be less significant than that of the European settlers, whose impact on the landscape has been on a relatively large scale. Since European settlement, direct exploitation of native fauna, habitat destruction and the introduction of exotic predators and competitive herbivores has led to the extinction of some 27 mammal, 23 bird and 4 frog species. Much of Australia's fauna is protected by legislation. A notable exception is kangaroos, which are prolific and are regularly culled. The Federal Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act 1999 was created to meet Australia's obligations as a signatory to the 1992 Convention on Biological Diversity. This Act protects all native fauna and provides for the identification and protection of threatened species. In each state and territory, there is statutory listing of threatened species. At present, 380 animal species are classified as either endangered or threatened under the EPBC Act, and other species are protected under state and territory legislation. More broadly, a complete cataloguing of all the species within Australia has been undertaken, 
a key step in the conservation of Australian fauna and biodiversity. In 1973, the Federal Government established the Australian Biological Resources Study, or ABRS, which coordinates research in the taxonomy, identification, classification and distribution of flora and fauna. The ABRS maintains free online databases cataloguing much of the described Australian flora and fauna. Australia is a member of the International Whaling Commission and is strongly opposed to commercial whaling. All cetacean species are protected in Australian waters. Australia is also a signatory to the Convention on the International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Flora and Fauna Agreement and prohibits the export of endangered species. Protected areas have been created in every state and territory to protect and preserve the country's unique ecosystems. These protected areas include national parks and other reserves, as well as 64 wetlands registered under the Ramsar Convention and 16 World Heritage Sites. As of 2002, 10.8%, 774,619 .51 square kilometres of the total land area of Australia is within protected areas. Protected marine zones have been created in many areas to preserve marine biodiversity. As of 2002, these areas cover about 7%, 646,000 square kilometres of Australia's marine jurisdiction. The Great Barrier Reef is managed by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority under specific federal and state legislation. Some of Australia's fisheries are already overexploited, and quotas have been set for the sustainable harvest of many marine species. The State of the Environment Report 2001, prepared by independent researchers for the federal government, concluded that the condition of the environment and environmental management in Australia had worsened since the previous report in 1996. Of particular relevance to wildlife conservation, the report indicated that many processes, such as salinity, changing hydrological conditions, land clearing, fragmentation of ecosystems, poor management of the coastal environment and invasive species, pose major problems for protecting Australia's biodiversity. See also Endangered Australian fauna Extinct Australian animals covers the time period from 1788 to the present Australian megafauna covers the time period from the first human colonisation to 1788 List of monotremes and marsupials List of Australian bats List of Australian rodents List of Australian marine mammals List of Australian birds List of Australasian birds List of common Australian spiders Invasive species in Australia For notes, references and external links, refer to the original text of this English Wikipedia article. This sound file and all text in the article a licensed under the GNU Free Documentation Licence, available at www.gnu.org/copyleft/fdl.html.